So back in July of 2019, that was the last time I flew my Franken Free Standard. Um, and same with the controller. I've taken off the Odyssey app of my phone and my iPad. So tomorrow, I've got everything ready. I've got my drone, I've just checked everything around the drone, the camera, put an SD card in there. I've checked the props, I've just put the props on at the moment. And not forgetting the prop tightener. Uh, now, with my Fatten Free Standard, when I bought this after about a year, Artec got hold of me and I had to fit this contraption on the top to give me, a, a, supposed to give me a, a better distance. Sometimes it worked and sometimes it didn't. So I've got the uh, aerial things just over there. I've got the free pads and the free aerial things. I'll be trying out that as well tomorrow. What, what I had to do, as always, I fully charged up my. Uh, controller so that's fully charged I've also charged up two batteries fully charged them up I've just done a quick check what also what I also have to do is reload uh, the DJI go app onto my phone which is going to fit on here um, I put all that on obviously when you put re put the app on you're gonna have to sign in again so don't forget about signing in and also because this is Wi-Fi you have to go into your Wi-Fi settings on the internet to connect with this. Not forgetting, guys, the password. Now, thankfully, I keep a note of everything. I keep a note of the batteries. I keep a note of all my passwords. I put the passwords on. Now, I've changed the passwords a couple of years back. Well, more than a couple of years back. Quite a while ago, really. Um, completely different to the 1234, 1234, which is the DJI password. So that's all done. So everything's working. The app's working. The drone seems to be working okay. So hopefully tomorrow, fingers crossed, uh, you're going to see it flying again. It's an amazing drone. I've, I think a couple of years ago, I still said that this Fountain Free Standard was the best drone on the market. I'll have to say now it's not. But we're going to give it a go tomorrow and just see how good this drone still is. We're going to put it up against the Mini 2 drone, uh, obviously a lot smaller, probably it was at a cheaper price as well than what this thing came out. This thing cost well over £600, batteries over 100 quid. but we're going to give it a go and see what happens tomorrow. <laughs> So we're all out today, the three old birds and us. Uh, so we've got two professional fat and freeze and a standard, which is me. Look at this, eh? This is what you call vintage stuff. But is it going to work? What I can remember, you've got to make sure the switches are up on the standard. Uh, turn on the controller. Turn on the battery. I'll check the props. Now we'll check the app. We've got some rain as well. What palaver this is. <laughs> um, okay, DJI Go app. It's all going now. Got into the app, it's going, it's saying camera upside down. Okay, got settings, active status, latest firmware, calibrate. Now, I'm not going to bother with that because it says normal. So, it's the aircraft warming up. Now, I know with mine standard, the warming up thing takes quite a while to warm up. But I've got a picture, I've got the camera on, I've got the takeoff thingy. It's Take off. Yeah, eh? Hey. Daddy is a rock. So, 
my Franken Free Standard in the, in the new DJI Mini 2. Um, I think if you're still first time flying a drone and you're thinking about getting the standard because you've probably seen it cheap, I think if you want to buy one now, I wouldn't spend more than a hundred pound now on a, on a Franken Free Standard to be honest. Um, it's still a good drone to fly, but I have to be honest, since I've been flying it, I think maybe the app's slightly buggy because I was losing picture at some points. The other thing is, obviously, is the range of these things. It's not so good as the other two guys. They got the profession. They got they got a far better range. But on on this, guys, if you're thinking about buying a standard, because I know a lot of you out there still like the standard, don't pay more than a hundred quid. I've seen these on eBay for three hundred. I would. If you're going to pay 300, you might as well go and get the uh, Mini 2 for a couple hundred pound more. 4K, 2.7, far better range. So much more easy to fly in your pocket. This big backpack, you're going to need a couple of batteries. I've, unfortunately, I think the day of the Phantom is gone. Now it's the new age of the, the small compact drone. Thank you.